Welcome back to Rayleigh's Small Engines. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to take a quick look. Not going to be a long one at this Craftsman. Customer says the battery goes dead. So let's take a look in here. Where's the battery? There's a fuel tank. Wait, there's another fuel tank. Can you believe that? Somebody cut the gas tank out, added some straps, and put the battery in the doggone gas tank. I ain't never. Well, looking a little closer, this is not the engine that came on this machine, and look, you reckon it could run hot? The first thing I'm gonna do is charge this battery, make sure it's nice and full. This is a March of 21 battery. So then I'm going to show you how to check and see if something is drawing this battery down. And it's a real simple test. You can actually do it with just a test light. Well, I didn't get the battery fully charged, but it's up there pretty good. I'll show you the voltage on this. A quick note, when you're disconnecting batteries, always, always disconnect the negative first. That way, when you go to put the wrench on this one, if you go down and hit, it is not going to short out. I don't care where you put this, it will not short out. The only way it will short out is if you hit these two together. But when you're taking this bolt out, you know, sometimes your wrench might hit metal or something and spark. So that's why you always take the negative off first, and that eliminates the possibility of that unless you short the wrench between the two terminals. So... That being said, what we did, I'll show you the voltage we've got right now on this battery. Let's turn on our voltmeter, and we're showing 1278. So it's got good voltage, okay? Now what we're looking for is a draw. And the simple way to do this is take a test light, and I'm going to hook my clamp onto my negative, and you can see the test light works. Very simple to do. Take the other end of your tip, you got your clamp on the negative side of the battery, your test light, so I can get it where you can see, you'll put it onto the terminal itself. You see there's no light, that means there's no draw. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach up and cut the key on. The only thing that that's gonna activate is going to be the solenoid at the carburetor. So let's cut that key on and this light should light up. See right there, we've got light then that's why, because we've got a draw. So there is no draw on this battery with it sitting. And that's an easy way for you to test it without going into learning how to do it on a voltmeter or whatever, okay? Now we can show you how to do it with a voltmeter. We can Look up our wires here. Now, keep, keep in mind these voltmeters, there is a 10 amp max, okay? You don't want to blow up your meter. We're going to put our terminal over here, and we don't want to go to milliamps. We're going to go down here to, I guess that's milliamp. I don't know how to read that. I just know I go to the amp thing. Okay, we have nothing. Okay, let's hook this up to the negative cable. We still have nothing on the meter. I hope y'all can see this so I don't have to do this again, but all right, now just cut the key on. There is your draw off of the battery. Cut the key back off, no draw on the battery whatsoever. And just as an additional note here, if your battery, you, you can disconnect your battery, leave your mower sitting, go back to it, and if it, is gone dead without it even being hooked up obviously it's a battery issue the problem with this tractor is hold on and i'll show you this machine has an electric pto this engine does not have a high enough output alternator to keep the battery charged with that pto engaged like i said someone has replaced this uh, engine and it came off of one that does have a manual uh, blade engagement. I just got off the phone with the customer and he, and he bought the thing for 200 bucks. It does run and cut. 
and it does charge. It's just not charging enough to keep up with an electric PTO because of the small lamp alternator. So guys, I hope this helps someone out. Y'all click that subscribe button, share this video with your friends, give us a thumbs up, come back to see us folks. Thanks for watching Rayleigh's Small Engines.